Hey, hello everyone. That was a wow, very quick um, transition. Words, hi. It's Tuesday. We are back playing Gotham City Chronicles. I am Simon at Wondering DM. I see him pronouns, and I will be the game master for this game. And we have a full crew today, uh, and we are ready to start what I would consider the first dungeon crawl of this campaign. But before we get into that, uh, let's just go around the table, introduce all of y'all, tell us who you are, who you are playing, and uh, we'll get things underway. Let's start with the person right underneath me on the overlay. Lynn, hi. Oh, this is me. Hey everyone, I'm uh, Lynn, uh, uh, Gomenar, she, they, and tonight I am playing Lexi Lee, uh, uh, she, her, um, former criminal, uh, current, um, boxing gym employee and, um, underground fighter, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, next we have Yutai. Hello, I'm Yutsai, a hider of laundry, given my background. Uh, I'm here playing Nick Williams. Oh, no, not Williams. Nick Winters, a uh, college dropout turned thief who is uh, trying to resist temptations and uh, get back to normalcy, whatever the hell that means. Your normal, as far as I'm concerned, is you being broke. If you want, uh, I can remove no, no. the $800 you have on your no. character sheet. No, no, no. Normalcy is middle class living. Normalcy is, you know, the healthy things like college debt and <laughs> having parents who aren't ashamed of you. That's normal. Oof. And last but not least, we have Hannah. Hi, I'm Hannah, she, her, and I am playing Arlo Wilder, also she, her, who is, um... Well, life keeps happening and the hits keep coming, but she's got a gun, so that's what counts right now, I guess. I mean, yeah. Speaking of life keeping coming, uh, we're going to start with Arlo tonight, but first, let's just recap real quick what happened last time. Uh, I normally do the recaps at the start of uh, these episodes, but I'm going to leave it to y'all to do it tonight. Do you remember what happened last time? And told me there'd be a test uh, <laughs> most of it I'm a little fuzzy on the ending but uh, if I recall correctly we uh, being uh, Nick and Lexi uh, we were had a bit of talking and decided that the best method of getting into the police station was through Nick's contact an officer whose name escapes my memory currently Cheryl uh, Officer Cheryl, who uses Nick for the um, not-so-legal parts of law enforcement that help out everyone altogether. There was also some discussion on whether we could fully trust her, and there was a we kind of broke down to, like, is she more justice or is she more uh, law? And Simon decided, like, he would give us information on one of her kind of touch points there. And I chose uh, how, like... Uh, how much order does she place value in? And which was one, which apparently is very concerning. I thought it was fine, but <laughs> apparently it's very concerning that a police officer only has like a one in order. Um, uh, she's not that zealous. Way. Right. I think we decided that it's because of like, it wasn't like for any other reason that it makes it for more dangerous for her with the other police officers, probably mostly the corrupt ones. Right, it's it's a, it makes it more dangerous, but it does at least to Nick mean yeah that she's less likely to, uh, um, align with the uh, corrupt crime families and be on their side for the sake of order, which you know whether it's justice, order, protection, it's kind of mm -hmm. the spectrum there. So we get inside. Uh, we pretend to be the grieving family uh, of the dead journalist. And are able to get inside. Easy peasy. Um, there's some prisoners who made leering comments. Uh, we're going to pay them a visit later. Uh, but we get back to the morgue and we do some snooping. And we find an important clue. A very memorable clue that I definitely 
should have written more notes about. It was a, it was a, um, it was like a extremely small microphone and um, yeah, compact recording. recorder. Com compact recorder, yeah. Oh, isn't there like a dead drop under a bridge? Yeah, the yes. dead drop in like the, is... uh, the island. Yeah, yep. the island. Yes, the yes. um, the message in on the recorder because it can record about like two seconds of of a uh, of voice. It's really not that great, but still. Um, it says Ottisburg, the island, cement block under the water tower. Under the water tower. Gotcha. This is also a good gadget we can probably use at some point for future crime fight, right. provided we survive. I, I do keep some, sometimes I slip and I forget we're like in blimp, but also payphone technology era. So, well, so here's the funny thing. Rich. Because I was talking with Hannah before the game tonight about something, and I said, oh yeah, you know, none of you have cell phones because of how, you know, 1989. But it is possible to have a cell phone. But none of you yes. have any cell phones on you. The only person yeah. that has a cell phone in their inventory is Arlo. Yeah. Ooh. It's just they're very big. They're very they're... big, and they're and they're like... No, I mean but they, they exist. Yeah, they have holsters on your belt that you can wear them on. Mm -hmm. We are quickly approaching uh, commonality for beepers. So, <laughs> my freaking crime pager that I've got. I here. mean, I think it, I think it, I think a pager or a beeper would fit right in with the aesthetic. Yeah. Um. Um. So yeah, we got in, and then I think we left, and that was that was it. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. You went in and you left under the nose of one Sergeant Cox. Who did not recognize you thanks to your, I don't remember, fucking 30-something check that you rolled. Yeah, we, we, um, yeah, we use exploit points to definitely get past Jeez. him. Yeah. yeah. His, his ass. And we get cool. 10 above the target number. It's a crit, technically. This is, yeah. like, the second time that, like, he's seen our faces. So it's, like, in, like, the last, like, 48 hours so it's like simon let me get away with using yeah. some uh, stealth stuff in yeah. order to like not draw attention i think mm -hmm. yeah um i'll remind y'all that your exploit points have come back good right good mm -hmm. i know i'm um, that the word dungeon has come up it's like oh oh no i don't know what you're oh, talking no. about um, yeah i don't know <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> but before we get into that we're going to backtrack <laughs> to july 13th question mark let me check my notes yeah july 13th in the morning as the three of you leave the lair of well the lair the iceberg lounge where the underbroker was arlo you are a few steps behind mm -hmm. lexi and nick you know open the outside door they cross and when they do, you feel a sudden pain in your arm. Mm -hmm. It's a sharp electric shock that will shock you for five damage. Right. Okay. And your prosthetic arm just goes limp. Oh. Okay. It is almost the uh, the same feeling as getting tased, but for a split second. Enough to say that if you were, I don't know, trying to be quiet or doing anything that would require, um, like precision, it would have fucked it. You would have fucked it up. The arm itself uh, sparks a bit from like the where the joint to your shoulder is. Right. By the time you come to, you didn't fall unconscious or anything, but the days lasted a few seconds. The other two have left you behind, apparently, as you leave the Iceberg Lounge. Uh, they are already on their way. I don't remember which place you went first uh, before the police precinct. But they're on their way there. Oh, I think it was, it was um, Nick's. Um, hotel, I think, right? Oh, yeah, Nick's hotel room. Nice. Hotel. You take a few steps outside, Arlo ready to catch up with them. Mm -hmm. And the arm sparks again. Mm -hmm. 
this time there's no well there is pain but it's not as much as it was a few seconds ago. Yeah, please don't let me, make me take any more damage because I'm at like two thirds of my health. I was just like, <laughs> what happened? What happened to Arlo? Arlo's dead. The, the hand. <laughs> yeah, we're jerks. We just left her behind. I um, I made sure that I could not roll high enough to kill Arlo <laughs> okay. through Taser. You took twenty damage. Goodbye. Roll a new character. Someone stole like your arm. An exploit point to add a plus ten to that. Or? <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> but yes, you find yourself outside with your arms still sparking. Your fingers have, um, they have, they're like semi frozen. Mm -hmm. Um, the same, you know, the same t type of, um, contractions your muscles go through when you get an electric shot. It's, except this time it's, you know, there's no muscle inside. Mm -hmm. What's going on through Arlo's mind? panic this has never really happened before she doesn't know what to do about this she has no idea what she did wrong that caused it to do this like every possible thing is going through her mind every every like risk that they took when they maybe she bumped up against something she didn't even realize it could it have been a kickback from the has she fired her gun recently she didn't think that she had that problem anymore with the the kickback but you know what could possibly she must have done something or you know, this this wouldn't have just happened. Or maybe it does just happen. She doesn't know. Like, panic. Just panic. Every possible thing that could have gone wrong going through her head. And what are you going to do? Um, well, I'm gonna, like, the immediate uh, instinctive reaction is to, like, pull down the jacket a little bit and, like, check under the shirt and see what it looks like to see if she can get like a, a visual on if there's a like a obvious problem because if she just needs to like put it back into place or something she can do that herself but there's a um small like burn mark on the like outer casing mm -hmm. um so that, i say outer that's casing like an internal problem yes okay um the outside of your arm because I keep thinking it's made out of metal. It's not. It's like um, synthetic not exactly skin. synthetic skin. Yeah, it's it's like malleable, mm -hmm. soft. So it's basically not material. like a chrome arm. I, I kept it's, for no. some reason picturing Johnny Silverhand. Um, no, it's like I know I made this analogy before, and I don't think you've seen it, but like iRobot, how Sunny has like the the metal skeleton but then on top of that is like the white synthetic material oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um yeah it, it there's something burnt inside mm -hmm. okay. it, not so much that it smells of like anything burning it doesn't seem like it's actively still burning mm -hmm. but you can hear a faint like tss, tss. okay uh, I, I'm getting a call. I gotta take this. I'll be, you guys go right ahead. I'll catch up with you when I, I'm gonna, you just, she'll just walk off very fast. <laughs> Can you pick us up some Chinese food? Yeah, I'm, I'll get, I got it. Don't worry. And now she everything Nick that. said the other day <laughs> is now yes. canon. All the joking around about Chinese food. Continuity has been saved. Reality has been. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm always dedicated to make sure if I make a joke, it's commit it, to the it bit. Matches continuity. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, Arlo, mm -hmm. where are you headed to? I'm going straight home. I assume Dean knows how to deal with this better than I do because I've he's some some sort of tinker. It takes you... Are you going on foot? Out of curiosity? Yes. Okay. So it, it's going to take you about uh, like an hour to get back home. Yikes. Okay. Throughout all this time, um, you have felt the arm jerk by itself as if it was still responding to inputs that you never... You never put it through. Mm -hmm. um, she's like holding it on the way home, trying to get it to move as little as humanly possible. She doesn't 
like she doesn't want to take a taxi because what if something happens and like it acts out in the taxi and the ta- it alerts somebody you know she doesn't know mm-hmm. who's looking out for her you still manage to get home um mm-hmm. a couple of people did like you know look at you stare as you walk by someone looking injured in the middle of the street in gotham mm-hmm. is I mean, commonplace, <laughs> but well, yes, but it's still like people, people do know that it's not supposed to be normal. Mm-hmm. Um, nonetheless, you get back home. Uh, Dean is in his room. The door is shut. There are more dirty dishes in the sink than there were earlier this morning. And, uh, you recall him drinking a beer with you? Mm -hmm. There are now, like, four beers on the counter. Well, empty beer bottles. Okay. She'll, like, go to his room. Dean? Dean? Uh, yeah, yeah. You awake in there? Uh, Yeah. I'm having a problem. I think I need you to look at it. She like take off her, her jacket and toss it aside. She um opens the door as you are taking your jacket off. And he seems genuinely concerned. Mm-hmm. What's happening? What 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 Do you know what this, what this means? Is? It just started doing this. I don't I don't I don't think I did anything to it. You think it looks you can like fix a it or is that burn? Well, yeah, I can tell it's a burn. Okay. Tell me what you were doing when this happened. I wasn't doing nothing. Okay. I went down to the iceberg and we were talking to somebody, and then on the way out, it just started sparking like this. It shocked me something nasty. But it sparked you. Sh- shock you like um like an electric like a- shock yeah oh that is not good you um, think do you think you can fix it i hope uh he opens the door wider invites you in his room for the first time in yeah. maybe forever dean's bedroom is a mess mm-hmm his desk he has a desk where he works on uh, opposite the door come in it is just a pile of circuitry circuitry Mm -hmm. um news clippings and other uh, paraphernalia tools mostly on there on his bed Uh, You've got just a a pile of semi-clean clothes, and on the floor, the less clean clothes. Um, He's got a closet that is currently shut, but it seems to be so full that the door itself doesn't shut properly. Mm -hmm. He makes you sit on the bed, and he's going to wheel his chair around um, and... uh, like sort of put on like these uh, almost like jewelers glasses um and he's gonna ask you to uh, remove it okay she'll do all the steps yeah, yeah. process of of removing the arm i assume that it's like there's probably some high-tech it's not something that you can do in like a second yeah no he will take the arm and turn back turn his back on you as he puts it down on the desk Mm -hmm. and begin looking at it he spends a few seconds in silence and then says this is very concerning what is it Um, well Holt 
industries, they um, years ago before the powers merger, they had uh, a string of interesting and lucrative contracts from the Department of the Department of the Defense. Uh, he starts opening the arm using, you know, various like drills and a um, oh, like one of those saws for casts, mm -hmm. just a smaller version of it. Hey, you're gonna be able to put that back together, right? Uh, I should. If I can't, and if I can't remove it, uh, putting it together will probably be the least of our worries. Because I don't want nobody looking at me like I got some kind of robot arm. No. You're, you're going to be fine on that. Uh, might have a scar. Okay. Or what looks like a scar. Uh, anyway, one of their contracts, and he's going to keep working as he, as he speaks. One of their contracts was about a, uh, a non-lethal version of... <laughs> The uh, explosive collars that are used sometimes on uh, very dangerous prisoners. Not something. Bomb that... Well, this is a yeah, sort of a shock collar. Um, except instead of being an actual object, you can wear and thus remove. These are implanted. I don't know much about them. Um, I was going to say the Suicide Squad, but it's not known as the Suicide Squad. Um, shit, what is it? It's not Project X. It's um, Task Force X, I think. Task Force X, yeah. So he says there are certain task forces in the army that have uh, begun using it. Uh, the the, the non-lethal version was more for um, uh, the, the sort of a preventative measure for recidivists. Uh, not the most humane or ethical thing at all, and it never went anywhere. But uh, yes, the shock, shock, temporary disability, the days. Um, that that's all. You're telling me there's like dog collar technology in my arm? Apparently there is. Um, the range of these things is about 200 miles. Um, if it went off, it means someone activated it. Within 200 miles of here? Yeah, that could be anywhere between Washington, D.C., New York... Connecticut, Philadelphia. That's still uh, too close for comfort. I know. But that also means that someone within that 200 miles radius thought they saw you or saw someone looking like you. You know, shocking you out of a crowd. It's a surefire way to know where you are. Well, is there any way that you can take it out? Or, like, disable it? Because yeah, that hurt. I'm, I'm trying. They just, they dug that thing so deep. And he, you hear him strain. And at some point, as it pops, he just shouts in surprise, like, oh, shit. And with his arm, um, involuntarily, he sort of, like, sends a bunch of his... Like a bunch of the junk on his desk flying on the, the floor. Mm -hmm. Arlo he, will get down and start trying to pick it up real quick with her one hand that she's got. She's going to try to pick it up faster than you. Can you give me a perception roll? Sure. Okay. Uh, perception. So I have a 10, so that's just a straight d20. Uh, I believe so. Okay. Unless you have like a ways or something that uh, lets you do that, like gives you like I a. Have, I have an investigation thing. Would that count? Um, it would actually count as looking for clues, even though you're not. 
It says, level two, the character is specialized in collecting and searching for clues in a specific domain related to their past or education. Oh, I meant more like the level one one. The, the level one, it's like the character benefits from plus one bonus for every mm -hmm. test looking for clues. Per level. So since you're level two, so now you two? get a plus two. Yeah. Okay. Right. Because while you're not actively looking for clues, I mean, your mind works a certain way. Right. And I assume if it has to do with Dean, it probably has to do with me. Hmm. So that's a 12. Do you want to spend an exploit point? Sure, let's spend an exploit point. All right, so that's a 22. Not enough to crit, but enough okay. to succeed. Among the stuff that he threw on the ground are several um, books on genealogy. Okay. That he... Those are the ones that he is trying as much as possible to hide from you. Um, a uh, genealogy? Yeah, borrowed for the... They have, like, the stamp on it that it's from, like, the Gotham Library. Okay. Or, like, in the... like card inside uh, and he like, puts them back on his on his desk and puts stuff back up um you notice as well that the paper clippings that some of the the newspaper clippings that fell off are all about kind of like the same um situations he seems to be very interested in like a string of industrial sabotage. Or I shouldn't say a string because it's... Some of the clippings that you saw are from like 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Other... Uh, there's another one that was like from like nine months ago. Um, and, and they're all like various, you know, various businesses, various industries, various companies. Not all of them in the United States. Um, but he, he seems to have a, some form of interest in that. Okay. And then the rest is just chips, boards, um, transistors, resistors, all of that, cap like wiring. Okay. That he puts back on the desk, uh, picks your arm back up, and finishes working with it. Um, so. I where didn't know you had an interest in science, Dean. Well, everyone's gonna have a hobby. Sure, but I thought yours was a little more technical. Well, you need to know the theory before you can apply it in practice. Or at least, you know. It uh, always pays to know uh, things outside of your purview, sometimes. Just like how one can sew back artificial skin and make it look like, and he holds your arm up, like brand new. There you go. It's been, She'll so, there's like a, on. there's like a half an inch long, um, well, scar. It's not scar tissue because that thing can't scar. Right. But if you know what to look for, you will see like the incision that he made. Mm-hmm. Um, to remove the the thing, and so he. Uh... I assume he probably like melted the synthetic skin back together in such a way that it imitates like scar tissue. Okay. Basically, yeah. And um, he uh, picks the little shocker thing. When you look at it, you notice it's like as big as um. Like one of those watch batteries. Okay. And he holds it to you. And he says, you know, it's part of your body, so uh, I figure you'll want to break it. Sure. Yeah. And this thing can only be put into effect by people who have the specific trigger. Yeah, you need to have... Free recalibrated so that other people can use it as a shock? If you can, I 
don't have the skills for that. Okay. I'll, um, I'll take care of it later. She'll put it in her, her pocket. Sure, just keep it far away from um, skin, skin, organs, yeah. yeah, the likes. Uh, yeah, that was... Um, I'll keep an eye out, but just know that we might have to leave Gotham in a hurry. Is something going on, Dean? Well, I meant because of your arm. The thing, the shocker. Okay. I don't think anyone's looking particularly for me. And as far as I know, I... Man, you, you, as he says that, he starts, like, patting himself. As far as I know, I am not, I don't have any of this inside. Well, then what did they do to you? He'll recline in his chair. Grab. Oh, no, go ahead. That's too personal. I don't, you don't. I don't mean to intrude, you know, I was just... I'm sorry, I, I talk without thinking sometimes. Nah, look. It's, um... <sighs> I don't... remember much of it. Do you know what knockout gas does to you? Uh, I mean, I assume it knocks you out. Okay. Do you know what repeated uses of knockout gas on someone does? No, I guess I don't. It fries your brain. Permanently. There are parts of me, my life, that I don't remember anymore. And some of those include what happened at the facility. Um, I remember why I was brought in, but I don't remember much after the first operation. Why were um, you brought in? Believe it or not, my was born with rickets. And Had to get surgery. I don't know why they brought me there. My parents, I mean. Um, I th think my mother used to work there. That's mostly all I remember. I have bits and pieces. Uh, you know, the, the night we escape. That's still a bit hazy. Um, even sometimes just what I've done in the morning. I don't remember. But you don't need to worry about me for that. It's... um. Not something they can do anymore. Okay. Your your arm is more important than an old man's memories of his breakfast. You know I worry about you, right? I know you do. I see it in your eyes when you look at me. I hear it in your voice. I... I appreciate the sentiment, but you really shouldn't. Well, you can't stop me. No, I cannot. 
But you should first and foremost watch out for your back. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back out there, and you know, I got. I've already taken a lot more time than I thought I would doing this, but um, don't just got some place to be. I mean, yeah, and I gotta I gotta go pick up some Chinese food too, because I promised I would. But you know. Can you just promise me something? Mm -hmm. You won't do nothing stupid, right? Like putting me over you, any of that kind of stuff. If if things get real bad and we gotta leave Gotham, like you said, because of something to do with me. Yeah. You'll come with me, right? Why wouldn't I? I mean, I assume you would if you could help it. But I yeah, want you unless... to, you know, help it. Only something actively prevented me from leaving. If I say that we're leaving, we're both leaving. Okay. I trust you. Thanks. Even though you, you, you keep doing screwy stuff and I don't really know all the way all about it, but, you know, I trust you. Even if it's against my better judgment. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go. Can you, um... Can you give me a willpower roll? Uh, sure. Or is it willpower? Give me two seconds. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yes, it is willpower. It is willpower. Willpower. Okay. Fourteen. Mm. Sort of middle and she. Today. It's what you needed. Um. It lasted like a, a the moment of a flash, really. She did not like you saying against my better judgment. <laughs> oh, okay. But it's not like... So, it, 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 what you saw in his face for just that briefest of moment is not so much a, oh, I am wounded that, you know, my friend doesn't trust me or, you know, thinks that I will... I don't know, betray her or something. Mm -hmm. It's more of um it's closer to anger. More of a how dare you like disrespect me. Okay. It's like you should trust them. And the fact that you say that it's against your better judgment. He knows better. He mm -hmm. knows what's good for you. Don't question it. Right. Right. And of course, I was saying it as a joke, but, you know, just the very act of saying it has set off this reaction and she'll notice that. So he okay. doesn't pick up, by the way, that you've picked up on it. Mm -hmm. so you go, uh, you go deliver your Chinese food. Stay out of trouble. OK, I'll be back when I can. OK, you want me to pick you up anything while I'm out? How long are you going to be out for? Hopefully not too long. Sure. Pick me some chow mein. Okay. Oh, and uh, a box of those fortune cookies. Fortune cookies. Got it. She'll head back out. He uh, keeps his door open and watches as you leave. So he's watching me through his his cracked door because I was going to say I was going to go back and look in his door but if he's like staring at me then I'm just going to leave he stares at why well, he stares at you I mean he he like goes to shut the door and looks at you as you're you know leaving the apartment okay okay um, so there's no opportunity to do that All well right. I mean once you've left the apartment mm -hmm. 
No, I'm just going to leave. Go okay. pick up some Chinese food. And head down to the precinct, I assume. Oh. Um. Uh, the ho hotel room, probably. The hotel room. Yeah. Yeah. Probably okay. yeah. you yes, this is where, um, room. this is the, the rendezvous point was the, um, Let's go great back to that hotel room. Let's hmm? go what to the what? Let's go back to the cop bar. The cop, <laughs> the cop coffee oh, shop. God. Um, just like, yeah. just like, just, just like, just, just. Talk about more of our crimes. Yeah. It's. No one would suspect anyone talking about crimes being serious in that place. Like theoretically, right? It should be like the the you know where where they least suspect it. Mm -hmm. but then again, they don't need much of a thing to hassle us so you know <laughs> yeah i'm mostly worried about the huh huh that weird group was talking about raiding the island and now suddenly <laughs> the island's on fire that's a weird coincidence how weird you remember you gotta, the like, three young people that were talking about robbing a bank yeah guess what like, a bank was like, wrong it just just like i can't believe hmm. i left the dynamite in that boat <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Okay, I look. Nick didn't take a, an explosive safety class. He didn't. I mean, that's, that's, that's I mean, that's an issue of the person that owns the boat. Properly you know? store and diffuse. That's, that's the that's the yacht owner's problem now. We all make mistakes. What's important is that we forgive Nick. <laughs> um. So meanwhile, at the hotel room, I will ask both Lexi and Nick to give me perception with advantage. With an edge, oh, well, in this case. Oh, okay. Unless you already oh. have an edge in this case. You just, you just... No, absolutely not. No. <laughs> uh, no. All right. Uh, 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 you know, I'm just going gonna, gonna to roll just full 2d20, because that's, that's easier. There's perception. 18. Plus 2. 18. I also have... Sorry, I know I have something that modifies this. Okay. Get a plus five total with my normal bonus and my uh, way that gives me a bonus. And you said that we get advantage? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's the first one. Mm -hmm. And here comes Jeez. ten. Only Lexi hears footsteps approaching the door more important than footsteps mm -hmm. you smell chinese food just to verify this is after we've already done the investigation yeah mm -hmm. okay we haven't gone back in time oh, i think arlo's here really what makes you say that I brought Chinese. <laughs> I go and quickly open the door. I didn't know what anybody wanted, so I just kind of got something of everything. It's all so good. She'll all just taste, like set it down on I'll the table. I'll taste the same out of the microwave. <laughs> yes, yes, please come in. I'll, uh, Nick grabs the ice bucket they always have in hotel rooms and goes to the ice machine, fills mm -hmm. that up. Mm -hmm. Comes back, takes out a pair of chopsticks, does that thing where you rub the, the cheap mm -hmm. chopsticks together yep. to get all mm -hmm. the splinters off. We all we all know. Yeah. Uh, and yes. just oh, takes a little soy sauce packet, kind of mixes in with the fried rice. Oh, where have you been? We've already done a recon mm, or and think, a recon. We've already done the job. Yeah, I think Lexi is already has like a like a thing full of just. Like, oh mm, no, I missed it. What did you? What happened? What did y'all do? Uh, went in, had to make a call. Uh, do you trust cops? No. Do you? Does anybody? Well, I mean, in this particular case, I have a working relationship with one, and they seem not as terrible as uh, Officer Cox. So, oh, look, they got us there. Mm, real do-gooder there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, here, let, let's uh, catch you up and splurge of information. 
went mm-hmm. in journalist cryptic message uh more important I, we didn't tell um my officer friend who we're after just in case it comes back to bite her she has deniability in a sense mm-hmm. um and we have our next destination which is under the water tower on the little island under a or in a cement block hmm. and we got a new toy little uh tiny little recorder thing well, that'll be useful later yeah where have you been oh uh, you know i just had to take a call nothing important a long call yeah well he's you know got a lot to say hmm. okay keep your secrets <laughs> i'm gonna pull it out of you i'm not your dentist So what's the plan? Well, we got a another location. Mm-hmm. It's probably a dead drop of some kind. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's going to be watched or guarded. It shouldn't be. It was a seeker, right? Yeah, it's a no, secret. No one else was rooting around that journalist's body before us. So. I mean, it would be gone if they found out. But sooner than yeah. later, just in case like some other um, information came up and someone was pointing that direction. Yeah. So I guess we check out the dead drop and uh, just kind of follow the treasure hunt till it leads us to what we're hopefully looking for at the end of this. Just head over there? You don't want to scout it out first? Make sure it's okay? I mean, it's an island. How are we going to do that? I don't know. I'm swim? just... You found it in a police uh, station. How sure are you that somebody didn't leave it there hoping that some nosy person would find it? Normally, Arlo, I would agree with you, but that sounds like a really convoluted trap to leave a tiny recorder on the body of a dead person inside a more closet at the bottom level of police precinct. Oh, sure, when you put it like that. Sounds ridiculous. A little bit. But you brought me Chinese food, so we are still cool. All right, well. Shovel, shovel, shovel. Once we finish this, I guess we can... Head over and I can't check wait that to out. open up our fortune cookies and read our perfectly legitimate fortunes <laughs> right before we leave. Wait, yes, DM. Sign. What are our fortunes? <laughs> um, let me fortune just. Cookiegenerator.com. <laughs> let me just. What are my lucky that? numbers? Oh, I'm gonna buy some lottery tickets after this too. <laughs> beware of taking. <laughs> we don't um, even have to roll for that. I'm, I'm just like minus five dollars. Yeah. Beware I just need to know any who, who goes first. Risk. Be yeah. aware of taking any risks. Any risks for the foreseeable <laughs> future. It's like, oh, well. Ooh. That's weird. My fortune cookie just says, don't. don't I don't uh, understand. Mine says you're really good at communication. <laughs> that's, that's not a fortune. Um, that's a, yeah, an that's just a, it's just yeah. a compliment. No, Nick, Nick, it says that right now there's an energy pushing you in a new direction. Oh. oh. I can give you numbers, but like, whatever. No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> don't, no don't, that, that, don't, mainly, give don't give the numbers. Don't give Nick the numbers. Well, let's be clear. Um, Nick is going to buy lottery tickets and gamble. There's no oh, way in yeah. hell he would win anything. <laughs> so I'm just going to minus five dollars. Um, Lexi, yours is question. It's just, fuck. It's just like, oh no. Question: fuck. What is H two O? Answer: Caring, two parts hug and one part open mind. <laughs> Great Are these fortune cookies or gogurt? containers like um i have seen some yours... that bad so that's not that's not that's not like out of the ordinary. three for three three for three and arlo it says the life of every woman or man the heart of it is pure and holy joy what man they must have gotten like a grab bag of fortune cookie companies because <laughs> these are all very different yeah. weird <laughs> Help, I'm being held prisoner in a Chinese cookie factory. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, uh, that's the yeah, yeah, yeah. False advertisement. Chuck that one away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bad luck and ill misfortune will infest your pathetic soul for all eternity. Oh, no. Oh, we don't. Thank God. No, no we like oh, that one oh, on fire. This we like that one that's on fire. The, oh, yeah. by mistake. And that's probably the Gotham City, like, Chinese cookie, Chinese cookie oh, factory no. that just prints out such optimistic messages. <laughs> You know, I could see a fortune cookie company where like ninety percent of it is like made to be mean and bitter, and then like if you're lucky, you get the one the ten percent that's kind of yeah. Like you nice. feel good. You feel yeah. 
It's a gamble. The day they bring TCG mechanics to fortune cookies. Gotcha fortune cookies. Yeah, I was about to say gotcha fortune cookies. It's like <laughs> Hey, fortune cookies are tasty. I keep rolling. <coughs> All right. So we got a location. Uh, what time is it? Is it still middle of the night? I'm pretty sure that's where we left off. Uh, yeah, because you went at night. Super long. It took it. Yeah. Well, so the scene with Arlo. I mean, out of game went quicker than it did mm -hmm. in game, but it took it took Dean like hours to be able to get the thing out. So maybe two, three in the morning. Sure. Yeah, that's that's a perfectly yeah, good. We time. were just hanging out in the hotel room after the job, waiting for Arlo to show up. Okay, so we got a few hours before first light. I think we can zip over, mm -hmm. pick up whatever's at this dead drop, and reconvene at a at our meetup place. Mm -hmm. You sure you're okay, Arlo? No, you I'm, need to tell us? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Just a little bit tired. Okay. Do you go to sleep? Oh, exhaustion mechanics? This, well, going to the island is probably a good thing. In the, yeah, in the I, mean, I, mean, I mean, you can, I, like, two to three, you know, you're good. It's just going to be, like, the hours uh -huh. after aren't going to be pleasant. Hmm. Oh, I thought you meant you wanted to go to the island after first light. No, no. Oh no, no like right uh, now. Oh, like right, yeah, no, got, that's okay. Before. Yeah, then then fuck sleeping. Yeah, we can. We're we're like we're like in our way. early twenties. So like we can do this. That's fine. We yeah, function we just, perfectly. We just stop fine. at the twenty-four hour motorboat store and we uh, head over. So speaking of which, <laughs> where how are we going to get to the island? Well, that's because the... I blew up the only boat I know of. You didn't blow it up. They just found the, like... the dynamite in it. You never lit the dynamite. You stored it there. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I private. You private. You just, you just made it like a. But you. I mean, there's there's um, there's a way via vehicle on like the the uh, freeway passes over it. Yes, it's just the freeway pass passes. Quite some ways over above it. Mm -hmm. Um. So you would need. There's no. There's no. Um. Are we just climbing off ramp for it? Um. There is no off ramp to go. Huh. on the island maybe that's why um, no one does anything on this island there's no way to put this car it's so there is the that's not true there's the old um railway because oh. oh. arkham estate was abandoned in like the late 1800s after uh jebediah arkham um vanished and all of his servants were found murdered. Oh my. Um, yeah. The issue is okay. the state of New Jersey considers the estate to be a historic site. And so Gotham City, being in New Jersey, cannot tear it down without, you know, going through a lot of red tape and everything. So they just boarded the place up. And when they built the, um, the new Gotham Bridge, they just completely ignored... Like, the island has, like, pillars on it. There are ways to get to the island by boat. Hmm. By car, you pass, basically, above it. I think we need to go get a boat, then. Or, yeah. or by the railway. If you want to take the railroad. Go to railway. Hmm. It's the middle of the night. <laughs> One of them's got to be unattended for some degree of time. I mean, a boat does sound better. Just um, a boat means, seems like, yeah, yeah, it means it's If we go over our railway, there's only one way out. If there's a boat, that is very true. We at least have a few directions we can go, and also have the option for the railroad railway just in case. Okay. At two right. in the morning or three, let's say. Uh... You know what? You know what? I think you know what. We don't. We. We don't need to get a motorized. We can just get like a, and just like you know, snap, snap the, snap a um. Chain link, off it that's holding it, or the lock. That's true. It'd probably be quieter. Just have like you should just have like a. Yeah, row. Actually, do do any of us know how to pilot a boat? Is there like a drive? You can try. Skill? It's, it, yeah, it's, it's so. Dex. I mean, driving is a thing. Your yeah, characters probably yeah. know how to do. Yeah. Um, 
in this case, none of you seem to have had prior experience with boats, but I mean, how hard can it be? How hard can it be? I mean, she had, like, Alexi's... She, she's, she doesn't know how to row, but she's rowed before. Like, she used the machine. She used the rowing machine, yeah. So it's probably yeah. the same thing, just with water. <laughs> you just, now you gotta, now you gotta actually, like... You gotta actually move shit. It's like, it's like, yeah, I, 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 I rode a bike. I, I, I used the elliptical. <laughs> it's like I wonder if I'm... the muscle memory is similar, but the finesse isn't is is not quite there. But you know, we'll try. It's better than taking a loud, loud, um, motorized boat. We only have so much time. Why don't we just? Why don't we head for the railway along the coastline, and if we see an opportunity for a boat that looks good, we can yeah. do that instead. Mm -hmm. mm, let me check this um not here not here i guess if we were what, what's country there um i'll call those docks over there on the on the central east or central western uh okay. yeah that would be okay. from where you are that would take you like maybe a half hour by uh by bus or by car to get there because I, I keep forgetting you still have the car right we have our burner car yeah you have your burner car, <laughs> the car um, that's not... your car here let's see because we didn't want to bring a stolen car across the police station because mm. then driving there trying to find like a boat in the marina and then leaving is probably going to take less time than walking to the railroad that's for oh, sure yeah, yeah yeah but it is up to you tell me what you want to do and uh we'll see what happens carlo you have a leadership sort of quality about you why don't you make the final call do i <laughs> i think it's the gun it's the gun yeah <laughs> The gun there like it. the gun. Is the safety on? Is the safety off? There's only one way to find out. I do have boldness, but the first oh word in the God. boldness is foolhardiness. So <laughs> we Lord. don't know that. We don't know that. We just take yeah. it as confidence at this point. That's, we haven't had we haven't had we, we haven't had bold we haven't had boldness like bite us in the ass. Yeah, we don't know that. So boat or train is the option, yeah? Pretty much. Well, yeah. boat or track. Or, or walking tracks. the track. Yeah. Uh, let's take the boat. <laughs> Okie doke. <laughs> let's go find a boat. Um, just as a question. Mm -hmm. How high off the water are the are the train tracks? Oh, Elevated. That's a good question. <laughs> so like, ten feet. Fine. No, no, no! Three it's stories. more. It's, it's more than ten feet. Um, I'm trying three, to like, see. Four, 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 three stories, different story. You know, <laughs> different, different, different like circumstance. Yeah. Um... If we jump off, are we going to die? <laughs> well, not Give me... you want to choose the train tracks. That's how. That's my super. How fast can you spot. run? <laughs> they call me impact. Yeah. <laughs> I fell off a train track, and that's how I gained my superpowers. <laughs> Um, let me see, let me see. Uh... The power of a train. You can run very fast and very strong in a straight line. <laughs> Honestly, not a bad superpower set to have. But it has to be following like, a line. But it has to be following a line. Like, yes, like a line in concrete. Like you gotta follow the lines. You can't, like... You can, you you're can't telling like... me you can be foiled time. by a kid with a piece of chalk? Yes. yes. Um... No one knows. So I mean, green arrow. A green wall. arrow is like. I mean, a green, a green lantern's thing is yellow. <laughs> I guess that's true. Wait. Or what? wood. <laughs> it's like depending on the yeah. Depending on uh, the series. Yeah, yeah. They're not thousands. Um, it's roughly thirty to forty feet off. That's that's pretty sizable. That's almost that's three. That's pretty stories. high. Yeah. That's pretty high. That's like yeah. Isn't each story about ten feet? Yeah. That's about that's that's yeah that's, a, that's ooh. it's like a four it, story it, it, draw. I think we I would think, have to go think, down less and climb. Up I think less Lexi would. I think knowing that Lexi would argue against against <laughs> the railroad. 
Like, she is very, like, she does something where she, like, kind of, like, be very, like, stubborn, like, no. It, it'll be a way off in case we, in case the boat, something yeah. else to the boat, but, yeah. yeah, let's try going for a boat first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's get it. If the boat burns, we will, like, at least have uh, a railway. Yeah, average height of a story is about 10 feet. So. Yeah, oh, boy, four story. It's a, four stories. It's like hitting Back concrete. Can you let's let's make the search for the boat um, easier? Give me a perception check, all of you. The highest result will determine what kind of, you know. Oh boy, I can't wait! Kind of a a single, oh a God. single kayak. <laughs> <laughs> I found right, this boogie God. board. Roll the five, oh, roll the don't, four. Don't, don't, don't come into physical contact with the Gotham River. It's like, it's no good. <laughs> I feel a positive we're on the We're on the river side. The right we're on the ocean side. This is, this is... 25. Thank God. Oh, that's Shit. a natural 20. I also got a 20. Positive <laughs> wow. direction. Do we get a really nice boat if we put the two people roll crits? I mean, what kind of boat do you want? Because with a crit, you get to a decide. Submarine. It's... This this party yacht was just like here. It's so right. weird. Oh, look, a submarine. With a <laughs> yeah. Okay, I reserve the right to say no to a submarine. <laughs> okay. Um, it could be a party yacht. It's just there might be people working inside. Yacht? How are we going to drive a party yacht? A party I don't yacht. think a party yacht. I don't yacht think. Is good. I think that the question of like who can row a boat versus who can pilot a yacht is like. A <laughs> is twenty five high enough to decide a detail? Yes. Yes, it is. Could we just find like an old man with a nice like fisher fishing vessel who's about to take off, who is old and lonely enough that he's super talkative and wants us to join him, and we can ask him to take us to the island? Hmm. Sure, because three don't, in don't the morning. Don't say it like that. Don't, don't say, it, say like it. Don't make us beat. Don't mean. Don't, don't make. Sure it, don't like don't that. have this nice old man betray us. Yeah, there, there's old people that get up at three in the morning. They go to bed at like seven. <laughs> no, he go. No, he's up. He's up now. He he went to bed at like seven. Now he's up. Yeah. Now it's good fishing time. You know, uh, so. three a.m. Prime fishing weather. Fishing in the Gotham River. Like I don't know what kind of <laughs> fishing. <rink. laughs> he um, it's a, a very like sizable rowboat that he has. He's got. Okay. Um, yeah. the type of boat that you could. You know, essentially have like 12 to 15 people maybe inside 15 if you squeeze. Yeah. And he starts, you know, guiding you to towards the island. He goes, it's, like... it's a wonderful weather we have today, right? Get the moon. Yeah. <clears throat> do you normally get up this early? What do you mean this early? It's late. It's 5.30 in the afternoon! Oh no, oh, dear. Oh no. Uh, well, thank you for taking us to the island, sir. Hey, no problem. I rarely see such a group of, of, um, driven young people wanting to see the history of our city. Oh, it's a boat tour. Oh boy. Oh no. It's not, but it can be. <laughs> Cetra. Cetra. Um, it reminds get... me at uh, the 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 sewage plant is by the island. You should be careful about mm. uh, you know if you ever uh, uh try to go uh you know having a swim. It's it's not a good idea. It's 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 going to. I've had and he lifts his shirt and he's like, I've had this problem for the past fourteen years and like. He's got like a patch of boils on the side of like his abdomen. Mm. It's just itchy from time to time, but you know. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. I didn't mm -hmm. have a wise old man to tell me about the dangers of the river. Oh, look, we're here. Fuck. Um. Uh the island doesn't have like great beaches so no, it's, it's basically like, right. it's just like, this, like I, i'm thinking it's like one of those things that it's like it's not sand it's rocks it's rocks yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. well we're gonna poke around the island for a bit 
Um, if you don't want to wait here, could you come back in like half an hour? Half an hour. He looks up at the sky. I can do that. Oh god. Sun's out. Sun's <laughs> sun's sun's out. <laughs> he pushes his rowboat back and goes Look at like look at the seagulls, not just bats. It's like <laughs> <laughs> They fly weird. Uh no, but he Nightbird. uh Nightbirds. he basically rows away. Um sort of like towards the middle of the river. Mm-hmm. Um, and you find yourselves, let me just change that, you find yourselves, oh no, the media's changing, oh no, <laughs> on the island, you are here, I don't know if you see the map on roll 20, you should oh, yeah, see, I see it. it, oh mm -hmm. no, oh shit, oh, Okay. The Shit, it's just... oh, water I, tower. I, I know. Oh, I know what this. I I've seen this map. Yeah. This map. No shit. Yeah. The water tower is yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. The map was altered slightly, um, oh, from the good. video game. I just remember. Yeah. Just... <laughs> um. So yeah. I'll I'll describe what you Wait. see when you get to the island. In fact, to your right is this tall cliff uh, that doesn't seem to be accessible from the waterfront. Mm -hmm. On top of it, you can still see like an old water tower up there. Right, right, this thing? That thing is the water tower. Okay, cool. Um, you are, you have landed in a part of the island that's basically just this, um, almost like, it, it probably used to be a jetty that just, you know, sunk at some point or whatever. To your right, uh, you notice one of the big towers um that is like adjoining the basically the arkham mansion mm -hmm. every window that you can see so far has been boarded up with plywood the tower has been tagged in many places um the mansion itself is disused oh, everything is overgrown Vines have taken over most of the facade. There used to be lampposts here and there. There have been broken, vandalized. Some of them just rusted over time. As you walk up the sort of slope to get onto the main sort of it's called a road path whatever driveway um you notice ahead of you <coughs> to the north um the top of a glass uh greenhouse most of the glass has been shattered it just remains in sort of these like jagged triangles just barely hanging on the frame there doesn't seem to be anything living inside anymore and to your right to your left uh the servant's house clearly identifiable by the fact that it does not look as regal as any other freaking building on this island beyond the servant house you have two other houses one of which is pretty much hidden by the um by the ravine but on the map you'll see it as the guest house um, and then there's, of course, a dower house that basically was never used. All of these buildings, like I said, have been boarded up, condemned. Um, you find an impressive amount of, like, police yellow tape, of, like, the do not cross thing mm -hmm. on the ground. Lots of trash as well. There is a path that leads up to the ravine, to the water tower. It is currently closed by a chain link fence or i should say a chain link door the fence itself is about eight feet high topped with barbed wire you could always try to scale the cliff side it's kind of hard um but i mean squatter teenagers there's all sorts of people that have used you know come and and went on the island since it's been uh, declared off limit 
if something was deadly, you would have probably heard it on the news. Like, you know, falling off the cliff or something. As far as you can recall, recall no one. It didn't happen to anyone. <clears throat> you could be the first. Honestly, cool place. We could have our secret base here. Hmm. You think? I mean, it's an island. I mean hard to get to pretty obvious to get to except i guess people falling from the uh tracks above but i guess if they aren't really are the train tracks still in use yeah it's just that the train normally goes um let me let me just paint sort of where the tracks are that's the yellow line So it's it's north to south west type of thing. Um, it is trampling on what used to be the estate grounds. Like there weren't any train like train tracks back when this place was still inhabited. That was just added as part of the city's many you know development projects and all that. But they never did put a um, an off ramp for the highway down onto the Arkham Island. And then, of course, um, what I am not showing uh, is this island goes a bit further west. Like it's it's a lot bigger uh, than what you see on screen. But everything else is not part of the Arkham Estate. Right? Mm -hmm. In fact, let me just check my... Oh, no. Uh, that, that yellow line is wrong. There we go. And it should be kind of... Hey, hey. Okay. Kind of like this. I, I see it. Yeah, I see the. It goes behind the tower's house. We board up some windows. We get some stuff, equipment over here. Just take up shop in the mansion or something. Yeah, it's certainly a fixture up. As here. long as no one knows we're here. Pretty private. Pretty secret. Lock all the doors. <laughs> I hope it's not as haunted as they say it is. What now? They say it's haunted. Yeah, you know, stories. I mean, any time oh. people end up dead, there's you know, they haunt the land, sort of thing. You I know, I mean, we can make a sweep for ghosts, but I don't How really believe in that. Ghosts? I don't know. Sweep for rats, okay, well, at least. Future plans of glory and ghost busting aside, we need to get up that cliff. Lexi, think you can climb it? It looks kind of sheer, though, not going to lie. Well, there's How's... a more obvious way to get up there. Like, How the hell did they get up the... Uh... So she looks at the warrants like, how the hell did they get that thing up there? But there's no way. Well, there is a path, like I said earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a path moving up, but the path is blocked by a chain link fence. Okay, yeah. Climb a fence, climb a cliff. I I just want to take a quick poke around to see if there's any like security measures in place. Like, sure, it's an <laughs> abandoned island, but if Nick had the idea of using this place because no one's using it and no one real really comes here, there's a chance someone else who has money for equipment is also doing the same. So, if there's like some kind of motion sensor or maybe hidden camera i'd like to look for it if i can that will be a perception check all righty one d plus five uh looking for gadgets 24 damn nice all right that makes up for earlier well you do not find gadgets what you do find is in the distance, about over here, north of the island, you saw the briefest flash of a sweeping flashlight. You both watch Nick as he kind of stoops, kind of instinctively. And then, 
you've heard just tiny echoing from somewhere between the tower house and the guest house i'm pretty sure you heard like a dog's collar you know like how when a dog like will scratch itself or or shake and the the mm -hmm. you know the, the little metal on the yeah it, it jingles yeah that Uh, quick huddle, Arlo, Lexi. Mm. Mm -hmm. Motion off in the direction to the north. I definitely saw a flashlight over there. And not like just a stationary flicker one, like someone's sweeping the area. Maybe looking for something, maybe... I mean, they could be, could mean, be sweeping for squatters. I mean, there's no other way to make that pattern unless it's in someone's hand looking for something, usually. And, tap my ear, over to the west. I definitely heard... A dog, like it's like a dog collar shaking, hmm. which that means there's a dog here, and that, that also means, means it can smell it's us a... if we get close. So, also, a dog with a collar. The dog's owner is probably here too. Not sure if it's the same person as the flashlight, but then why would the flashlight person leave their dog by the dock? Mm -hmm. We should probably come. We should probably get what we're here for and get out as fast as possible yeah mm -hmm. and quietly too which means if we mess up climbing this chain link fence that's probably going to be pretty apparent across the island it's gonna be loud mm -hmm. how there... tall is this cliff again and um how is depends the on which fence locked <laughs> like the lowest like the lowest accessible side here the lowest accessible size from around here yeah uh, would be like 30 feet. Shit. Um, it's not a like completely like 90 degree incline. It's a wee bit less enough to say that you can't walk it up. Um, you have to climb it. The chain link fence is uh, locked with a like a chain. Um, rather sturdy chain, like not a bike chain or a, mm -hmm. like a chain that you'd have on a swing set. A little bit bigger than that, but not as big as, you know, an industrial chain. Um, and then it's got a padlock. So it's basically just, like, the chain that wraps around, it, like, the two posts in the middle. And it's locked. Padlocked. Okay. Does it look like something I might be able to pick? Oh, yeah. Man, it's got a lock on it. It's got a keyhole. Okay. I will try to pick this lock. Unless... Lexi, do you want to take a stab at the cliff? No. Okay. He'll shake your head and it's just like, oh, you like, are you, All right. are you mad? I'm going to take out my lock picks and I'm going to attempt to bypass this lock. All right. Make that a roll. Uh, what roll would that be? Oh, that would be dex. Dexterity. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just double checking my ways for any bonuses. I don't think anything here is going to really help. So that's just a plus three, but I do have an edge in it. So I get a second Advantage. roll and I can yeah. keep the better results. Mm -hmm. All right. Eighteen. Not yeah, bad. That's pretty good. And do I need a... Do I get to know if I fail or succeeded before I decide to use a uh, point? Uh, yes, but if you have an edge, you still... Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. So, That's an okay, 18. Is... 18, 18, is, is, 18 is fine. Okay. You unlock. Ooh, that, was a good, that was a good unlock sound, Simon. Thanks. I will never be able to repeat it ever again. <laughs> oh. oh no. um, you remove the chain open the gate so the footpath basically goes up and sort of uh follows along the the cliffside and at some point we'll like sort of 180 and then go all the way back up and then that's when you reach the top so you sort of have to make like an s to reach the the water tower mm -hmm. a little slightly windy yeah who goes up the path before i assume that it's all three of you I mean, it's up a path, so like Lexi's fine. It's not scaling a cliff, but that should be okay. 
Nick would motion that he's going to stay behind to rewrap the chain and make it look like it's still locked, but uh, not like fully lock it. But mm -hmm. just so like they can hear someone coming if they do. Mm -hmm. Arlo's going to go ahead with Lexi. Yeah. You walk up the um, cliff. Once you're near the water tower, it there's a lot of weeds around. Uh, you hear a... Hear and see a rabbit just run the fuck out of there um, as you walk up. You're probably the first things that this rabbit has seen in a while. But from your vantage point, you see the flashlight that Nick mentioned before. It's a pair of individuals. And by the time you're up on the cliff, while they were, you know, over here in the north, near the, the rail, the rail, yeah, the blah, tracks, um, earlier, by now, they are basically just passing the servant's house. Okay, so they're making their way. Um, in our direction, oh boy. Well, not necessarily in your direction. They're not pointing at you. They're not pointing, but they're coming close. They're coming. They're making their like the general direction that they're walking is to is closer rather than away. So. Yeah. The strange thing is, they're wearing SWAT gear. It's easily recognizable. The 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 riot gear with the big armor. Uh huh. The hell. They don't have shields or anything. No, and no. It's just it's yeah. It's still weird and their clothes do look maybe dark blue or black mm -hmm. from a distance the water tower is this old like 19th century water tower the the pipes have rusted through and through it still holds by three of the four original posts, and the fourth one is a more modern uh, add-on. You can just okay. you see it just by like the wood, how it looks like. Uh, by more modern, I mean it's probably like fifty years ago, but still, it's not like a mm -hmm. hundred. It creaks in the wind. There's no water inside there. There are cracks in the planks underneath it. It could not hold water anymore. It's just there. Yeah, aesthetics. And each of the legs are sort of kept in place by these massive cement blocks that form like a like a, a foot around it. Nick will arrive in like a minute or two after you do. All right, let's go find this thing. Don't have yeah. time, and I don't think those two are there for uh, any legit business. I don't know why they'd be wearing riot armor out here. It's they best keep our keep away out of them. Here? Hmm? Are they expecting some kind of resistance here? Pretty overdressed. I mean, if there's something to find, maybe. Maybe there's multiple people looking for this thing, but so let's go. Oh, where the hell is it? You begin to look around. I'm going to ask for one more perception <laughs> roll. Okay. Damn, okay. Oh, yeah, no, that, that's, yeah, that's uh, fine. Would this count as looking for clues? Yes, definitely. Um, by the way, your <laughs> oof, your second level is oh. Uh, what is your domain of expertise, Arlo? For investigation. Well, for the expertise power in uh, in investigation. I thought it said in a specific domain related to their past or education, and my past is, of course, you know, like the facility 
Okay. So I just anything related to that in particular, I assumed was what would cool, cool. ping. It's just so I know in the future, because um, it still is a plus five. I mean, it is, yeah. But I don't like Arlo was musically educated, and that falls under the uh, way of the way arts, of which yeah. is a, a different. Yeah, so I figured that it wouldn't have, I wouldn't have anything relevant for the investigation beyond like that part of the backstory that works you needed a 15 so while arlo is f like searching one of the uh one of the legs lexi searches another and you remove you know the, the cement blocks one by one and find uh one of them so there are these like big you know those big cement blocks that are basically hollow in in the middle they just mm -hmm. have like a, a bar so in one of the holes you find a damp le tiny leather notebook and uh the three of you see a like a ray of light just pass by in front of you. Shit. Lexi is the only one who will notice where it came from. Not from the people downstairs. It shone from between the cracks of the boarded up windows of the guest house. And we're gonna take a break. There's so many people here. Sorry, We're not alone. Ghosts. All right. Uh, ghosts, stick around, ghosts everyone. With ghosts huh? with lights. Ghosts with lights. <laughs> yep. Uh, right, stick around. We'll be back in like five minutes.
Hi, we're back. We were talking about the Batman who lifts. <laughs> but that's not where we are in our world. Bruce Wayne's parents are still alive. And the three of you, well, it depends on what happened. You just found the damp leather notebook and saw a beam of light pass uh, by you. So basically, it's like from the second floor of the... Um, uh, wow, of the guest house. Okay, so it's really close. Yeah, and it's not someone like shining at you. It basically, you know, they're just looking. Shun. Well, it's more like there is light. Yeah, coming there's, out I mean, of there. There's someone here. Others, other than the two that are have the other yeah. flashlights. Okay. There's a chance they're together. There's a chance that maybe the people here are looking for the person with the light inside the building. There could be multiple parties looking for Sen. Yeah, but what do we need to do? Mm. Well. I think like you'll kind of do like the uh, you know like crouch walk to like y'all and like like found it. Oh, so there's more people out. The, the, she'll point at the guest house. Lights in there. Could be more of them. Okay. Uh. Well. Towards the train tracks is danger or mystery. Uh. And our ride's not going to be here for another half an hour or twenty minutes. Two minutes or two minutes. I don't know. When you look How out long? to see, they ain't gonna be here. I don't know. He's nowhere near. Uh, oh, at least the boat's not sinking. <laughs> okay, it looks like, it's like he just sank. It and like at some sad. point, he was, very, he was very, he was very quiet. And when the boat sank, it's like, oh no, he was supposed to be our Alfred. <laughs> well, we're kind of stuck here until we get can. picked up. I mean, if. Getting inside a building is probably safer from the dogs in the open and the flashlight searchers just kind of scanning and moving around everywhere. If the person inside does mean us harm, we can just take them down three to one. Hopefully it's one. I mean, it's as good an idea as any. At least he'll be indoors. Won't be in the wide open. The servant's house. Wait till our ride gets back and GTFO. It's a plan. Where do you want to go, though? There are ample buildings. That's true. We don't have to go to the servant's house. We could break into the mansion instead. Yeah. Mansion's large. Large, yeah. Easier time, hopefully, baiting. Yeah, and the other look, people that are he here. Point, I point towards like that, like it looks like a perhaps a tower room that's like on the the smaller little jut of a peninsula. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy way to see if our rides are yet. Yeah, it'll be less Actually, of a run. You know what? Why, why go to people when we can avoid that and just head over to the mansion, yeah. right? Yeah, it's also that makes more sense. less of a run to the. Uh, I guess I was just curious, space. like, why are they here, right? Uh, but yeah, let's let's head over to the mansion, and we can also take some time to review what you found there, Lexi. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can just go through the front door, since that seems to be further away from everything else and everyone we saw. Well, I mean, this, I mean, this is a decrepit building. There's got to be at least one way in that doesn't probably make as much noise somewhere. The main entrance to the uh, the manor house is, it's not just boarded up, it's barricaded. They mm -hmm. really did not want people to go through the doors. Um, it's not just the plywood on top of it, but they've also basically uh, put in like cement. You know those like cement, those low walls? Yeah, yeah, the big, the big like um, barrier things. Yeah, yeah, in front of it. Um probably to make sure that no one tries to um, run their car into the door to force it open. Cause it, yeah, cause, yeah. Given that it's wide enough that, yeah, a car could arguably drive into the mansion. There are broken windows. Mostly those that are on the second floor. The ones on the first floor, of course, they're broken, but they're also boarded up from the inside. Mm -hmm. You would need to 
push break one of the plywoods to go in the ones on the second floor there are um like handholds and footholds that you can grab onto just on the facade of mm -hmm. the mansion um it's not as dangerous as um say the cliff it's just it being a mansion right the second floor is not just 10 feet off the ground otherwise you could just you know hoist someone up in this case you'd have to sort of climb a little bit um the tower is particularly climbable by the way it's made of those like old field stones uh the mortar in some places has like chipped away um kind of makes it, it it gives it an air of like um what are those like indoors um rock climbing walls mm -hmm. gotcha is the um if we go to the tower is there a um numbered up window that's around like the second floor like say um height sorry what um on the uh, the tower is there like a way we can get in for like from like that's about second floor or lower um oh yeah definitely like second floor above yes yeah okay uh first floor you wouldn't have any mm -hmm. it's just whoever wants to climb in first is gonna have to give me a strength check um i think lexi will like it's it's less of an ask i think than climbing the cliff i mean it's only a two-story thing it's not that's not like anything too bad it's just anything that's higher mm -hmm. it's like half a train track Mm-hmm. Just a straight you up strength. This, I believe in you. Okay, strength. What is my what is my number? Plus three, but I get I, it is my um this expertise. You got an edge. Edge, yeah. So I can roll twice. First one, seventeen. Second one is 21. 21 is more than enough. You climb up in uh, in a few as few leaps uh, as mm -hmm. possible. And when you hoist yourself inside, the room that you find yourself in, this circular room looks like a um given the the placement of the windows uh was probably a oh what's it called it's not like a breakfast nook but it's more like a uh, a tea tea time nook i know there's yeah, a I word think, for yeah, it yeah. yeah yeah i think i know where you get you're getting at um yeah the there, there there's no more furniture in here yeah. the um the floor tiling has been in many places the tiles have been popped and mm -hmm. broken there was a bunch of them that lie on a pile at the foot of a wall mm -hmm. the paint inside has peeled off to the point where you can see that it was probably painted like sky blue at some mm -hmm. point um but is now just gray and plaster and that's in places where there is still plaster in in many cases you see like, the frames the the beams and all that mm -hmm. um the the truss it is circular, um, but it does have, like, it's not a perfect circle, right? It's like an mm -hmm. almost complete circle. Um, and then that has the um, sort of like the staircase. It's a, uh, like a spiral staircase, but it round, it wounds around the uh, sort of like exterior. Well, it's not outside, but like the, the, the exterior the, wall. The wall, yeah. Of, okay. Yeah, the yeah. periphery. Um, instead of just like one of those spiral staircase that are just like in the middle or something okay yeah. um so it, it's got like a little landing that basically breaks the otherwise what would have been a perfect circle okay so like little okay so like wizard's tower layout yeah kind of it yeah does not have a third floor even mm -hmm. though from the outside it seemed like it 
it's just the ceiling is very high and it's a big vaulted ceiling yeah okay um, um everything looks stable um so it's I got think he'll... bats in the ceiling that's fine they can they can stay like that um lexi will kind of like lean out and just kind of like wave all righty guess it's our turn yeah Now, Lexi will, will kind of like lean out and like if anyone needs help, like kind of like getting up that last little bit, she'll she'll kind of, she can kind of like like lean outside. Um, what's your? You've got a plus three. Can you make first Lexi a strength check DC ten? Okay. And if you succeed, that's gonna give a plus two to everybody else. And then that's twice too, right? Uh, yes, because you've got an edge. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven. <laughs> I mean that's fine. Okay, we got we got the the, the we got some bad rolls out. Okay, got even out with the, yep. the good perception yeah, yeah, rolls. Yeah. But all right. So everyone else, um, can you give me a strength check? Strength. Okay. Yep. You've got a plus two from Lexi, and I'm looking at uh, it's not that high of a DC, but. Question. Fall, fall mm -hmm. silently if you can. I'm taking a look fall. at Arlo's <laughs> ways, and she has the way of danger acrobat, and she gets a plus five bonus to all texts of dexterity for climbing. Would you say that might translate to strength as well, or just dexterity? Oh, it might be dex for climbing in this game. Thank you for. Uh, yeah. Thank God, God for that. Noticing. Yes, it's dexterity for climbing. My bad. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Uh, no, thank you. It's okay. Lexi would, would like... have succeeded even without the edge. So, I mean, I could see it also being strength, depending on like how rigorous you have to work. Um, how, how like your can I use line? that yeah. in some way to assist Nick? Um, you would have to. Well, yes, you have to make a check, like the same type of check, right? Dexterity, um, and you have to beat a DC ten. If you do, you give him a plus two, so he would end up with a plus four total. Now, given your given your ways, uh, that's a plus five to dex right away. Mm -hmm. What's and your dex I also, at? My dex is a plus three, but it is also my edge. I'm the same. Plus I three. mean, that's a plus oh, eight. You guys have better climbing. You guys have good, good That's a plus eight. Um, I mean, unless you roll a, just roll a d20, unless you roll a one, you can help him. Oh my god. Please. I mean, he's, he's got a pretty right good stuff. <laughs> but let me try that. All right, so I like the old edge. Two from yeah. Okay. yeah, you can yeah. give 26. him a. You can basically, you know, like give him a boost up, and then he's gonna climb up, and Lexi can uh, grab him if there's anything. So Nick, you've got a plus four on that check on top of everything else, uh, and really? wow, so plus seven overall, I think. No, the. Yeah, plus two and two. Seven. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And uh, plus two, plus two. Arlo, you yeah, can but... make your own check to climb then. Okay. <laughs> Which on that one you could. Oh, that's fine. Oh that's my fine. god. That's like fine. A... That's fine. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y you you just, are. You just jump. Uh, you just uh, jump, and it's like you're second, up there. Second natural twenty. Okay, no, that's a two. You that's can't. Like, I'll, take the, I'll take the natural twenty. The one with a zero behind it. I don't know. I'm gonna. Uh, That's my edge. Oh, give me just a second. Just like you make it up there in like two seconds. It's like what the hell? No, I, I, I move. A, I move a stone, and there's like a there's like a a lock box with gold in it. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Uh, like you can like you can see like the yellow bricks where you can you're able to climb oh yeah they're it's highlighted like, the high, you don't no one sees <laughs> it you have like detective vision for those things like it's just like i can climb with this it's like it's like how'd you get up i, so I go up halfway out? and then i just stop moving because i need uh i need to use the restroom and i come back 10 minutes later and I resume. <laughs> no problem so you all spider-man your way inside the tower i've described it before my right? circular room blah 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 rafters mm -hmm. bats Windows, broken tiling. There is no door to leave. Like, I mean, you'd have to go back down one story to sort of leave yeah, the island, the uh, tower. 
but in here illuminated by the stars and a partial moon outside there is enough light that if you were to huddle by a window you could read yeah let's let's, uh, let's the notebook let's, unless someone has a light source that they want to I don't want to. I don't think we should do that. We should. I mean, if we can, we if we can either. read, it's gonna be, and it's gonna be a little difficult. I think it's better than having like, oh, what's that light in the tower? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, we'll, like, I have that. one, two, three, four, five entries for you. Oh. Of course, this notebook contains a lot more information, but it's more info on previous cases as far as the events of the last few months. A few weeks ago, Knox spotted a bunch of men dumping bodies uh, from Arkham Island down the river. Thinking this was a mafia hit, he waited and fished one body out. The person's skin was red as a lobster and his face and neck swollen so that they appeared to be fused together. This is all written, of course, from Knox's perspective and his observation. They're not complete sentences. They're just notes jutted down on on paper. Uh, He thought that was weird, so he reported it to the police, who brushed him aside. He made a note in his notebook that the officer he spoke to, uh, referred to as the old poster boy, uh, was particularly... uh, Wow, uh, cold towards him. Knox then went back to Arkham Island and searched the grounds, but found nothing but the boarded buildings. That is, until he left come nightfall and saw a light coming from the guest house. He will then proceed to stake the island for a week, from June 1st to June 7th, and will notice vans coming in, dropping people. People who do not appear to want to be there voluntarily. Um, or consensually. He was arrested by the GCPD. Um, he wasn't on the island. When he was taking the island, from what you can gather from his notes, he was near or on the rail tracks and he got spotted on the 7th for uh loitering and was brought in he was uh sorry not brought in um yes yes he was brought in he was brought in but released that same night uh he was not so subtly threatened by an officer whose name he cannot remember on june 8th he went back on the island uh he said that he brought with him like a camera he brought with him like food water enough stuff to so that he can stay like the whole day 24 hours if need be he found that the boarded up doors to the guest house were actually fake and that the um those those boards weren't nailed to anything They just like lean on the door, but at an angle that unless you are next to it, you're not going to see it, especially not if you're, you know, driving on the highway up there or riding on the train or passing by um, on on boat. He heard voices inside. He cracked open the door and saw what he says, uh, the two cops that arrested him the day the day before. His next entry details his theories. Uh, He thinks there's an illegal organ harvesting ring that probably uh, also implicates part of the GCPD. He makes a note that this, if it goes, um, you know, if it uh, comes to light, uh, will is sure to make front page, 11 o'clock news, the whole shebang. And maybe he will finally get the respect he deserves as a journalist. His last entry 
says that he's going to sneak inside the guest house. Then the next line says that it looks like a morgue inside, that he saw people in cages and heard screams coming from the basement. He bumped into a chair and ran out. He says, I don't think anyone saw me. And it ends. Uh, no, it, he says also that he's uh, going to hide the notebook and his stash of food and camera and everything in case he is searched and arrested again. And that's the end. His body was found with the camera, right? I believe that was listed as one of the belongings. Mm -hmm. It was in the evidence, yeah. So either he has a second camera or they found his little stash except for this uh, for their book. I guess they did find him. Hmm. Ooh, glad we didn't sneak in there when we were uh, looking for a place to hide out. No, that explained the lights and the SWAT guys. I don't think this is the place they're Hmm. Either we're really lucky or that's one hell of a coincidence. I mean, new drugs, even street drugs, tend to need test subjects. Hmm. Yeah. Who better to test it on than people that are quote unquote missing? Or no one's looking for. Right. And this place is, as far as anyone cares, it's just a abandoned historic item island. So, pretty much. And anyone who would be poking around here, if they weren't, like I don't know, teenagers on like a test of courage, probably doesn't have anywhere else to go. Would be missed. Well, it certainly complicates your uh, plan to make this headquarters then. Yeah, yeah. Damn it, someone beat me to it. <laughs> oh, though, if we kick them out, we can just take their stuff. That'd be yeah, cool. I mean... I was going to say you could be, like, just nice neighbors, but... <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Walk, o walk over. Uh, we ran out of uh, drugs. Can we have? Can we borrow a couple of drugs? <laughs> <laughs> We're trick-or-treating in July. Trick yeah. or treat. Trick or treat <laughs> put up Santa July. Claus inflatable. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Do we stay and investigate or do we go? I vote for going. We don't control the way we got on the island. We are about to hit daylight where everyone can then see us. We're very unprepared. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm exhausted. It's roughly like coming up to four in the morning by then. It's too late. I've been up all night. I slept in a I slept in a bed for the first time. It felt weird. It's been a while. I didn't get a good night's sleep. Carlo, Lexi. Yeah, I'm tired. Me? Let's just get off the island in one piece, regroup. Resupply. figure something out probably have then, yeah. you know i mean i guess we, we haven't confirmed right this it could just be like fully another shady thing going on in gotham for all we know right i mean it's something here you wouldn't have um armored up swat guys here who no, knows nothing there's call, nothing call here normally that you would that would just an old mansion Mm -hmm. And it's certainly something that he certainly died for. Ooh, and thought it was important serious. enough to hide it on him. Yeah. Yeah. And it seems like it's... It seems like there's also no immediate danger of it being closed and re... Like, them um, relocating. Because it seems like it's been here, even though... Anything Our guy is dead. Side. There's no reason to move. I mean, Anything cops on the side, or it is the cops. Suspicious. You know. Just get ignored. 
I mean, you know, maybe the um, money broker is right. Maybe if we do come back here, if we do, you know, probably shouldn't have our faces being seen. Like we're some kind of masks? Like we're some kind of vigilantes? Well, I wouldn't want any reprisals from the police, certainly. I guess that's true. Would it be? Are we reaching the point where you are contemplating wearing a mask? <laughs> I mean, I don't Maybe. want like, like we are pu we pushed our luck pretty hard, <laughs> like going into the police station doing like I think this is the time like this scene they killed they. It, I mean, it's pretty evident that they're willing to kill people to keep this thing secret. So you know. Yeah. And powerful people can find out a lot about you, even yeah. if there isn't much paperwork on you. Absolutely. Uh, you know, protect your loved ones and all that. Hmm. And it would be real easy to find my loved ones. Also, we only got the one gun with Arlo, so maybe maybe at least a second gun. Do either y'all know how to shoot? I know how to shoot, but that's not... I pull a slingshot out of my pocket. <laughs> Feel it's like kind of crack. the same thing. It's like, look out the window. Is the boat back yet? You see it in the distance. Is it coming our way? Slowly, but yes. Okay. Shit, we better go down and meet meet him there. Less chance yeah. of him of him being discovered as well. I'm pretty sure not going to be uh, appreciative of a uh, boat coming here. Okay, let's get. Get out and regroup. And get, we can get our own boat, yeah. get supplies, and come back. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm not going to make you roll for climbing back down the tower. Roll the 20 multiple times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, um, you wait for the boat to be closer. Climb down. Walk back to the uh, the jetty. So how how how's your how's your camping trick been, kids? <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, we should probably get out of here though. Oh, oh so soon. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, you know, folks back home are going to get worried. It's been fun, but uh, <laughs> uh, probably should uh, get out of here. I'm uh, scared of the ghosts you were. Come on, hop in. I'm dumping. Jump in. He says he was going fishing earlier. His fishing equipment is still there. There are no fishes in the boat. I mean, it's got the like, river. anywhere. Of course, there's some... Now, is that because he was lying to us and he's secretly part of the operation? Or is he just really bad at fishing? Just ro do you, do you check? I mean, you can maybe do a check. The old crazy yeah. man with the boils is definitely I, I, in I on it. I can see you doing I it, mean, Simon. I know. He's it's, the it's, mastermind. I, he's the doctor we're looking for. <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> It's uh, secretly dark side with a beard. Oh no. <laughs> He's going to drive you back to land, um, sail you back to land. He's less talkative now. Keeps muttering how he's like getting tired. Okay, yeah. I mean, dinner is probably in an hour or so. Sun's, oh, sun's setting. It's getting colder these days, you know? He says mid-July. But after another 20 minutes of listening to the old man, uh, you finally get back to the mainland. Or should I say the main Gotham Island. Where to now? We, have we read everything the journal contains, pretty much? We got the full story. Everything that pertains to what Knox knew of this. I mean, if you go back 
through the notebook, they're all other um, cases, yeah. like cases, like news cases that he reported on. Mm -hmm. Things that you have seen on the news. I mean, Alexander Knox, as far as uh, you know, never was a star reporter or anything. He's not like Vicky Vale, for instance. Um, he was mostly relegated to like the oddities um, section, the um, like the last like five minute segment during the news about I don't know a um, a woman says that her cat has three eyes or like someone found the Virgin Mary on a piece of toast or what what have you. So his notebook is basically filled with that. Gotcha. That in ruminations. The, the this last case is the one that he seems to have detailed the most, because it started with finding a dead body. I mean, as a reporter, he just you know saw the yeah the dollar signs. Oh boy! Why don't we head back to the hotel room for privacy? We can plan what we need to do before tomorrow night. And then you guys can either crash in the hotel room with me or head back to your own places. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, after after we kind of hash out what our, what our approach is here, we can call it a night. Mm -hmm. All right. So you will head back to the hotel. And that's where we're going to end our session for tonight. Because I figure all the prepping... And the potentially going back to the island. We'll keep our dungeon crawl for next week. Everyone's got a nice thing, a nice, nice sleep, and then mm, come back. Mm -hmm. the... Yes, uh, just so we know right away for next week, just um, you have you regain all of your hit points, nice. sleeping and everything. Uh, you'll have your edge points back, of course. Your um. Next. Not edge points, your exploits. Exploit points. Yeah. Didn't need them. Just Ooh. kept rolling twenties. That's how I roll. You. Oh, you oh, might bam. need it. This feels. So, thank you so much for coming. This was uh, episode six of uh, of our Gotham City Chronicles. I will throw the mic back into the players uh, for <laughs> whoever wants to catch it. Tell us who you are, where we can find you, and what did you. What did you like about tonight? What, what was a, a thing that you uh, appreciated? The tension. It was good. I liked finally being together as a group and doing a, an adventure again. You know, getting into trouble. Cool, cool. And uh, who are you and where can we find you? Me? Yeah. You you, you answered you first. Find me right so. here. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Um, uh, Saturday, I'll be back here for Scion, 1 p.m. with Lynn, Birth of the New Gods, going to Super Hell, several layers of Super Hell. Other than that, I'm here. Fun stuff. Who wants to go next? Hi. I mean, it's that. Had a lot of fun today. Uh, favorite part? I'm maintaining continuity and making our look at Chinese food. Uh, it's always fun when uh, the, the silly things we say we can we can make canon. Uh, but also, yeah, just uh, the creepiness of the island a lot bigger than I thought it would be, um, and the fact that through our planning we were able to like get what we needed, but we are also able to like kind of scope out the place so we can come back more prepared than just charging in there. Uh, sleep deprived with one gun and really no uh, no scouting at all. So we know there's a dog. We know there's people wandering topside, and there's people inside. So, but yes, you can find me uh, here for Batman. You can also find me uh, tomorrow. I believe is the fine finale of the mm -hmm. of the reading between the lines on the Laugh Love Lindy channel. Uh, it's a good society game where there's a lot of heirs, a lot of illegitimate children, and currently a funeral going on and we'll see who gets what and who comes out on top tomorrow at 7 30 c cst central standard time i believe yep all right thanks for coming and lastly 
Lexi. Hey, I'm uh, Lynn uh, Grimlart. Pretty much ever on the social, you can find my art there, and you can also yeah, find me with Anna and uh, Simon on the Birth of New Gods, uh, the Cyan game on Saturdays. And this week um, is our week f uh, for uh, on Practice Birth as a Forest channel for our um, Dark Ages um, vampire game that's been going on on Sicily. Uh, it is the High Clan, which is our clan, kind of, kind of, kind of and uh, my character has. Um, Made a huge mistake that has had wider implication than I thought it. So, like, right now, try not to get killed by probably Inquisition of some sort. So, Oof. good. Hopefully, we'll try. I released a demon on Sicily. It's I was like going to say, is your problem demonic related? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's for the usual reasons of demonic. Yeah. Yeah, of course. As you do. You know, it was bad. It, it, like, it, 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 it almost, like, really hurt the other the low clan people they almost got hurt by that same thing so you know what ton yeah it's great a lot of bad things for my character nice and yeah i like the um the yeah the tension and going like kind of I, the i like that we're good at sneaking around we're we're good at we're good at we're, we're confident at it. we haven't like it's not like you don't think where it's like you you try and sneak then you really mess up. We've been good. We've been our characters are feel like they're at least semi professional or good at this thing. It's not like a bunch of a bunch of like we decided to be vigilantes because we have no idea what we're doing. No, you 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 are competent at what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. As the uh, string of nat twenties can attest tonight. God, it was Further so, from like, the three I, stooges than we anticipated. I was like, I'm glad we're kind of ending the session before we get into anything really <laughs> serious because, like, I rolled like 18 or higher on the three, like the first three, like perception rolls. I'm like, this is gonna end badly for me at some point because, like, these are these rolls are really good. <laughs> yep. Well, we'll see about that we'll next see. week. Yeah. Um, as for me, I'm Simon. I'm wondering, Liam. Of course, you can find me again on Saturday for Scion Birth of the New Gods. Uh, everyone explained it. Well, everyone. Lynn and Hannah uh, explained it. Uh, we're, we're there in hell, and uh, they have to clean up all 15 remaining hells. So, yeah, that'll be at 1 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. Uh, and then back here next week. Or some more Scions. There's other, uh, some more Batman. Ooh, Gotham City Chronicles. I haven't drunk a single coffee today. <laughs> and it shows. So, have a good night, everyone. And uh, we will see you next week. Bye-bye.